sent this delightful package with my friend Josh, who also is working at Brightleaf this summer, Robin, um, for me to give to Ben, if you can't see that, for Ben, that's what it says, and they are beer bands, so Robin, this will be exciting for you at Mines, you guys can all label each other's beer cans or whatever you guys drink, I don't know, hard lock, liquor, vodka, all that good stuff. Um, so Geek is one of them, that, that could be really anyone, um, Desperate also could possibly be anyone at Mines, except Robin because she has a boyfriend, and Rachel and Duncan because they're dating each other. Antisocial also could be a fair number of people. What about uh, Connor, Ben's friend person? Yeah, he's pretty antisocial. A tease, oh, that's Timon. <laughs> Egomaniac. Ugh. I don't know. Robin, you probably know someone. You probably think of someone. Uh, anxious, again, could be anyone. I don't know. Alex is kind of anxious. Obsessive. All of you fangirls. All of you. That's all of you. Intense, again, all of you fangirls. Confused, Ben, always confused about everything in life. Wimp, I don't know. Not Bianca, definitely not Bianca. <laughs> Timon, lightweight. Eh. Spoiled, I don't know. Any of your friends that are rich, I have a few. Snob, again, any of your friends that are rich. <laughs> that could be Alondro. Smondro is a, sm a snob. So uh, I guess I'll give these to Ben. You guys can all enjoy them. Um, I guess for the rest of my time I can talk about my delightful experience with drugs and I'll probably end up removing this because it's bad to talk about drugs on the internet but um for all of you Caitlin and Gracie mainly because Robin and Timon were kind of there but I'm sure you didn't you guys don't all know the whole story so started out in Ben's dorm room and he decided I decided I, I wanted to do this. this is something I wanted to do this was not torture of any type I wanted to get high to experience it for the first time, so we had edibles, and my roommate Morgan was like, don't overdose, it sucks, because you stay high for like 12 hours, and you're just like, I'm so over this, and of course, taking that into advice, I overdose, and Ben gave me 32 milligrams, which apparently is his dose, and then I think before we left, I was giving him shit because he said he wanted to smoke, and I told him he couldn't smoke. And he was like, you're going to be so high, you're not even going to know, so whatever. And I was like, uh, no, I'm going to remember when I'm high. What if I don't even get high? Then I'll just be bitching at you about not smoking. He's like, fine, for that. And he gave me another one, which I ate because I'm an idiot. I'm a f dumb fucker. And it tasted like really shitty candy. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder how long it's going to take ki to kick in. So we started walking down the road to wherever the concert was, which wasn't that far from Robin's dorm if you've been to Robin's dorm, which I guess we all have. That was a stupid thing. Anyways, <laughs> and so I was walking... And we were about to enter the concert, and it was just, there was this time lapse. Like, I was sitting there, or walking along, and then it was like, there were gaps in time. And I was like, the fuck is happening? And then Ben had told me not to speak about being high loudly in public, because they had narcs everywhere. And I was like, the thing that I'm not supposed to talk about is happening right now. And... They were like, what? And I was like, it's happening right now. Like, what? I, right now. And so then Ben had to go into the guy's line to get fris frisk for the concert. And I went to the girl's line. Didn't take that long. And I was trying so hard to act sober. Like, I was just like, put you in there. Like, put your arms out. And I was like, I'm like, okay, turn around. And I was like, and they're like, okay, go that way. And I was like, had my ticket. And they're like, took my ticket. And I was like, oh. And then, thank God, Rachel, or not Rachel, Bianca was there, and I was, like, freaking the fuck out, because I was like, I do not like this at all. Like, I knew immediately that I did not like that feeling. I was like, I do not like this, I feel unsafe, I can't control myself, and this is not, like, being drunk at all. Whoever, Ari, told me that it was, like, being drunk, he's a fucking liar. It's not like being drunk at all, and I was like, oh my god, freaking out, and I wanted Ben to be there, like, right then. I needed him to be there, but he was in the guy's line, and the guy's line was fucking huge, and I was like... Oh my god, we're at mine. So of course the guy's line is way longer because usually it's the girl's line that's longer because girls have purses and like also like in the bathroom girls take longer. So so finally Ben got there and I literally grabbed his arms and like latched them in front of me and that is how I stayed for the entire rest of the concert. So it was really scary because I kept like looking at people. Okay, so first I forgot how to breathe. 
and then had to teach me how to breathe again because I was going <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what was happening I don't know and so I forgot how to breathe and then I wouldn't like I was trying to like zone out because I was like I want this to be over as soon as possible and so I was like trying to just relax and like have a good time and so I was like kept slouching down because Ben thought I was falling asleep because I kept like slouching and then I was like staring at people I guess and I didn't realize it and then they would like I would see their faces and they were like laughing and I was like oh my god everyone can totally tell and so I like stopped staring at people and just like stared at the DJ who in my mind was just like oh the DJ is Finn because he looked like Finn so I was like trying wanted the time to go by faster every second or like the time seemed to go by go by so fucking slow and I was like Oh my god. And so all I could tell us how fast the time was going is I would like zone out for a while and then I'd look and I was like, oh, Finn's still DJing. Okay. And I'd zone out for a while. And because I was freaking out, I was like, just do something natural. And so I just imagined myself snowboarding. And I'm pretty sure I said that too. I was like, I'm snowboarding right now. And I sounded like this is such a stereotypical high person. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And there was a bunny. There was a man in a bunny costume being like carried around. So I also sounded high, but that actually happened. I was like, wasn't there a bunny? Like, yeah. So then we start, so this was like, the concert was like, okay, we'll do it this way. The concert was like this. We were over here, and then we had to walk over here, which also threw me off immensely because I was like, just direction, my sense of direction was thrown off immensely. And I also forgot how to walk, so that was good. And then... Finally, the con I remember, like, certain songs being played, like, Hey Brother was played, and there was just some other, like, songs that were played, and then we were with uh, I Ben's friend Iris and James and Bianca and Swandro, and so we were in that section, finally the concert started, and it got dark, and people were going, 303, 303, and so in my mind, I was like, oh, this is the encore, perfect, like, there was a huge time lapse because the first act took so fucking long that, like... I just, the actual concert was very short, and I'm fine with that. Like, I want this to be over with. But no, that was them starting. And so, like, all throughout, I just couldn't tell what part of the concert it was because that threw me off immensely. I was like, is this the end? Is this the beginning? Maybe we flash back to the beginning, and then this is the end again. So that was really confusing. But I do remember some of the songs they played. They played Punk Bitch. They played Electroshock. They played, um... Uh, My First Kiss. They played, I'm pretty sure they must play Colorado Sunrise. Um, they played Rich Man, and they played Starstruck, of course, and then they played, um, Don't Trust Me, of course, how could they not? Um, and the lead singer was wearing a blue jacket, because people think I don't remember what happened at the concert, and it was really awkward, because not very many people knew I got high, and then later they asked, oh, how was the concert? And I was like, it was good, you know, the parts that I was conscious for, and so I was a, like, a vegetable, like, such terrible vegetable. Um, this is gonna be a really long video, I apologize. Um, the lead singer was wearing a blue jacket that had rainbow on it, like, rainbow stripes, and he looked like Brooke Tobler's brother, and the other guy was, like, really skinny and had, like, dark hair, so I do remember some things. And then, finally, the concert was over, and... I forgot how to walk again, so when we went and watched fireworks, and everyone was like, Oh, how are the fireworks? How are the fireworks? How are the fireworks? And I was like, I don't fucking know. I was tired. I wanted to go to bed. And they, like, I guess I asked Ben, because for some reason in my mind, I thought that the people at Mines had made the fireworks, like, in a class. Because, I mean, that seems like something would happen at Mines. Like, they would make their own fireworks in some explosives engineering class that they had. I don't know. And so, I guess, like, while I was high, I was like, Did you make the fireworks, Ben? And, like... I asked that like several times. Anyways, and so they spelled out mines with the fireworks, and in my head I was like, oh my god, they're trying to hypnotize me to make me come to mines because, and then I was like, oh my god, think of home, think of Colorado Springs, think of your bedroom, think of your roommates, think of class, think of your friends, and so I like, every time I would get like a conscious thought, like a concise like thought about my room, another firework would go off, and I'd like forget everything, and be like, oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, okay, think of my room. And I was like, oh my god, they're trying to hypnotize me. And then finally, we walked back to the concert, and I saw Furba there, which was weird. And I was like, Furba, I am so high. 
And I couldn't, that was the thing, is I couldn't hear how loud I was. Like, I couldn't hear my own voice. I could hear everything around me. I could see everything that was happening, but I just didn't process. So I couldn't hear my own voice. I didn't know how loud I was being, because, like, there's times where I'd say things to Ben, and he wouldn't hear me. Oh, another thing is during the concert, I kept getting freaked out, like, that we were not by our people. And so I would, like, look to my right, see Iris there, look to my left, and then I would see James and Bianca, and then I would look behind me, because Smondra was behind me, and I guess Smondra said, like, the next day, that I was staring at him, that I was just, like, like, creepily staring at him. But I was just checking to make sure we were in the right place, and so that happened. Told Ferber I was high, and then no one I was with knew who Ferber was, so I was like, wait, was Ferber really there? So then I kind of, like, got to a, a less high level, I, like, you know, decreased, I lowered down to earth a little bit. But that whole section was just asking people to verify that things actually happened. I was like, so was there a bunny? Did they spell out mines with the fireworks? Was the lead singer wearing this color? Like, and I just, like, asked all these questions. I was like, were we on this side of the concert or this side? Like, was Ferba there? No one knew who Ferba was, so they thought I was just high. And then, then I just got really fucking tired. And I couldn't feel my mouth. And so I sat on Robin's hammock. This is when Timon and Robin saw me. Sat on Robin's hammock. And... I couldn't feel my mouth and I couldn't taste things either. It tasted like after you fall asleep and wake up the next morning and like it's the stale like morning taste, like a faint remnant taste and that's what I was tasting so I was like, ah, this is weird. Ah, rah, rah, rah. I just like, kept eating them, which I guess. And then uh, the thing I remember was everyone was just like, bitch pop, bitch pop, bitch pop, bitch pop. They just kept talking about fucking bitch pops and I was like, God, shut the bitch up, pop, fuck, I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, because that was where, like, the Mike's Hard Lemonades was their little bitch pops. And it was really weird, as I was super aware of, like, everyone's social interactions. It was really weird. Like, I could tell, I was like, oh, they feel insecure. Like, they don't feel like they belong here. They're trying to be cool. And I was like, they blah, blah, blah. And I could just, I could tell. It was weird. Like, it was weird. But I did not like the experience at all. It was, 10 out of 10 would not re recommend. B or, like, less. Way, way less. I guess, to be fair, I'd have to try it again at the normal dosage. Yeah. So, I don't know. Sorry this video was so fucking long. Um, oh, and then I got up to go to the bathroom. Somehow I managed to go to the bathroom. And this is when Timon was there. And I wanted to leave, but I couldn't go back to where I was sitting. So I just stood in the doorway and stared at everyone in Robin's room until Ben took me to his bedroom and I fell asleep. And I was still high the next morning. And then even after I drove back, I was, like, spacey. Like, I was driving back and I was like, I'm so spacey. Went to the store. That was a fucking weird experience. Went to the grocery store and I bought like a tin of chocolate muffins and the cashier guy was like, don't eat those all in one sitting. And I was like, bitch, you don't know my life. And then I was like, that's just awkward. And he's like, or you could put milk and honey on them. It's really good. And I was like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> so that was my lovely experience uh, with the drugs. Drugs are bad. Gracie, I appreciate your video because drugs are bad. Don't be peer pressured. But I can check it off the list. <laughs> Sorry the video was so long. Again, love you. Bye. Hey. Oh, also another thing. The whole thing about Ben smoking. Literally, because he said that, every time I had his hands around me, and every time he would, like, lift up his hand to do something, like, push someone away or, like, get something, I was like, don't smoke! Don't smoke! <laughs> and he was probably so annoyed, but he deserved it for overdosing me on marijuana. And, oh, another thing is I couldn't tell, just another thing to add, I guess, since I'm adding more, I couldn't tell how much I was moving, like, when I was dancing, so I was, like, I felt like there was, like, this bubble around me, so I couldn't tell if I was, like, doing this, or, like, <laughs> there's no median. <laughs> um, oh, and another thing is I, so at the concert, like, when people were jumping, I was, like, don't jump, I guess, to Ben, because I was, like, holding him, and then, yes, randomly, I just started jumping super hard, and I kind of remember this, because I was like, I don't think I can jump, but then I was like, I wonder what it would feel like to jump, so then I started jumping, and I was like, wow, this is kind of fun, and then I was like, I'm gonna jump as high as I can, and he was like, oh my god, you were jumping so high, I couldn't even, like, keep up with you, and then you, like, kept hitting me in the face with your, uh, the back of your head, and then I guess at some point during the concert, I was jumping and no one else was, so Ben had to stop me from jumping. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it, besides that that whole experience was just entertaining, I guess, in all forms. Marijuana!